so a small business is defined as kind of a local business owned by a single person or a partnership, usually with less than 500 employees. Um, and raise your hand if any of you either work at a small business or know somebody who owns a small business. Okay, perfect. So that's actually going to lead into a few of my points here, but um, the reason I am here to talk to you is to talk to you about the fact that my career choice is to eventually own my own business. Um, mainly because there are good job opportunities, I can create my own um, schedule and kind of run my run my life my own way, and then it's personally gratifying. So the reason I asked you guys, if you know people that work in a small business or own one, um, is because there's pretty much unlimited job opportunities with small businesses, and that's one reason that I chose this career. Um, about 27 point, there are about 27.9 million small businesses in the United States, and they are everywhere. So not only do I have a lot of opportunities, but they're located everywhere. I mean, you go outside and there's a small business out there owned by somebody. Um, and there's basically no limits, uh, so ge geographically where I want to go, as well as with the actual job itself, I can own a lot of different types of small business, a restaurant, a bakery, um, I've had a lot of really weird ideas for small businesses, but they also kind of depend on where you are as to kind of like what niche you want to fill. Um, so like hotels and just regular storefronts, those are all small businesses. But a small business can also be defined as somewhere that is owned by a franchise. So like Dairy Queen in town here is a Dairy Queen, but it's owned by somebody in town. So that would be considered a small business as well. Um, the second reason I really want to own my own business is kind of the personal freedom that I get with that, um, being my own boss. So I can kind of set my own hours and my own schedule um, when the actual store is open, depending on if it is regulated by a franchise or not. Um, I get to hire my own employees and managers. Um, but the only thing is, is that I will more than likely be working more <laughs> than the average citizen. Generally, um, people with their own businesses work anywhere from like 50 to 60 hours a week, whereas the average person works about 33.8. So um, I'll be definitely working more, um, but I am kind of a workhorse, so that doesn't bother me at all. I'd rather be doing something all week than sitting at home. Um, and I actually talked to the owner of the business I work for. He's got a couple businesses in town. Um, his name's Ryan Knott. And he basically told me that when you first start a business, you're gonna be there all the time. But the key is to hire reliable staff and managers to allow yourself a more self-sustaining business so that you can expand and work on that instead of having to consistently run and micromanage your store. Um, and the third reason I want my own business is that it's personally rewarding. I mean, being able to own your own business and kind of get feedback from customers and watch it grow and kind of create something I think is always gratifying no matter what you're doing. So um, being able to kind of just like make something of your own, watch it grow, see it expand, um, make your own money. I think that that's really a gratifying thing to do. And just to kind of see how well you can do and continually set new um, goals and milestones for yourself, for yourself. So I'm really looking forward to doing that when I hopefully start my own business. Um, so basically to conclude, um, there's opportunities everywhere. You can go anywhere and basically start anything that you want. Um, you get to make your own schedule and be your own boss, which, I mean, we really don't want any people bossing us around. <laughs> and that it's personally re rewarding the fact that you kind of get to um, make life how you want it. And then the other thing is, is that I heard that people with their own businesses generally have a greater sense of well-being. So I'm looking forward to that. And these are just some statistics about um, small businesses in America. <coughs> kind of, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but that um, how many there are, and they account for more than 99.7% of businesses. So that's kind of interesting. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Questions? Yes. What small business do you want to own? <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so I've had a couple different ideas, but um, my family owns some dispensaries in Arizona, so I was thinking of either joining the family business or um, opening like a miniature motel kind of in like a bar area with some specialty things for people who are um, drinking. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so what kinds of things do you need in business? Oh, like a marijuana dispensary. That's what my family has, a couple of them. So, yes, that would be the dispensary business that I would possibly go into. Sorry, did you tell us the state, or are they? They're in Arizona right now, so it's still medical. But you're getting more and more opportunities to move around, wouldn't exactly. you? Exactly, that's that growth thing, you know? Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, notes. <laughs> 